Hello everyone, this is Cthulhu Luigi, and welcome to part 30 of Let's Play Pikmin 2. Um, I went back to saying that I was going to say at some point in the last part, I try not to do that because it makes me kind of sound like a robot, but then it occurs to me that I kind of like sounding like a robot, so I have little to no reason to quit doing it. If it's annoying like I kind of suspect it might be, feel free to just tell me and I will pretty much instantly quit doing it. And I love the Wally Wog mechanics in this game, how they actually die and don't screw everything up. Oh, I like these kawaii little leaf monsters. They're the best because they can't attack. And they don't have male forms that show up with them that can attack. Although I guess they can sometimes distract your Pikmin if you have other more important things to kill, but... Let's not complain about uh, otherwise nice enemy, shall we? Or shan't we? Whoops, Olimar's all the way over there. Good job, Olimar. I forgot to make him go back where he belongs. Okay, so let's just park these blues over here. You can pull these whites down. Have them dig up this treasure here. Which is a onion replica, I think. And then chuck the whites back up, because they do not enjoy drowning as much as I have theorized. I'll throw a blue up there, because I'm too lazy to sort them. And we can have blues finish the job. And the ones that aren't carrying it can bring back the most efficient corpses, which I believe would be the actual corpses and the Wally wa or the water dumples, considering red pellets give three or uh, two or three, I can't remember which, to everything besides red. I wish it would keep the spirit of the one pellets and just give a lot more to red, like give ten to red for a five. But that is kind of a tiny bit counterintuitive, so... You know me, I enjoy intuitivity, which is why I'm such a big fan of Punch-Out. Um, and I'm pretty sure, oh, I like this music, it kind of reminds me of Treasure Trove Cove or something, or that specific part does. And I guess not everyone plays the same video games as me for whatever dumb reason, but Treasure Trove Cove is a level from, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, which you should probably go out and buy an Xbox and download that if you have not played it on the N64. Because as terrible as it is, that is most likely never coming out on the Virtual Console, where a lot of people seem to want it, but I don't know. I mean, it's business, folks. You can't, you can't be unfair to businesses. I mean, Microsoft did buy Rare, Nintendo did not want them, and they should have thought about that if their fans seriously wanted that on the Virtual Console, and I'm probably just offending Microsoft so much because I have an Xbox and I get to play Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie in HD whenever I want, but that's kind of how I roll. Yep, Onion Replica. Oh, Olimar, wouldn't you know that... When, uh, uh, onions exist on your planet too, and that's why you named them onions, and it doesn't really make sense that just because you found a giant one you called it Onion Replica, although I guess the onions on his planet might be kawaii like the carrots are. Uh, this is going quite quickly. I'm going to switch you out for flowers. That was all flowers, I hope? No, not quite. There you go. And now I can go uh, flower up my Pikmin. And today actually ended up being a breeding day with one part. Maybe I'll unroll that bridge so I can get the yellows over to that lightning door. And we can get that tomorrow. But yeah, there have to be some kind of boring days like this. And that was not the best use of it. But I have a lot of flowers now, so I'm not complaining. I mean, there's still a disturbing abundance of leaves, but that would probably show up eventually, regardless of what I do. I managed to crush it before I ate my Pikmin, hooray. Yeah, they're kind of bad at this. P 
Pikmin have become stronger than they were in the original Pikmin. Olimar. 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 So yeah, Louie is pretty much the most annoying person. I think the canonical ending of Pikmin 2 is that Olimar kills him because he's so annoying. And he just says he left him on the planet. Let's see if you can drink it. Although I like Louie. I still think he should have been the only character in Brawl. Alright, so do we mostly or completely have flowers, flowers, flowers? Mm, we have a couple stragglers. Or is that extra Pikmin? Do I want to know? Almost certainly not, but I'll look anyway. I have no idea. Ah, there it is. Maybe I can get those last three flower, or last four, or five, or however it ends up being. The last one leaves flowered before the day ends, and after setting all my flowers to work on this bridge. And the best part is I can do this kind of thing this close to sunset because of Rui. Actually, you know what? That would be foolish to try to um flower them all and waste potential bridge on rolling time for tomorrow. Doesn't really matter if a few aren't flowers, I'll find more nectar eventually. So yeah, they're pretty fast in this, that's nice. There we go, it's all clear for yellows to come across tomorrow. I have all 100 with me. Um, oh, and apparently that little thing is still a bridge for yellows to get across, and this is just for Olimar, but I still like trying to get yellows across. I guess I'm just naturally pro at video games and challenge myself when I can. Has to be it. <laughs> so anyway, next part we will open up and hopefully be able to start up the shower room. Uh, although, actually, it would kind of help if I spent some time breeding yellows, considering I have, what, 50? 49. Alright, so yes, I certainly need more yellows. Some wild animals. Yes, yes, poor, poor president. He is rather kawaii. I am... Um, Upset by the loss of Louis upon completion of the debt, but he is almost as good. So, since I'm not really doing anything super formal like opening up a cave and getting it, and I'm going to be confused with writing up a description for this video anyway, um, might as well start up yellow breeding. I'll just call this breeding day mark a million, because I tend to have several breeding days. And I wonder if that... Beady long like spawns even if you haven't fought it yet in the cave. Well, let's find out. Baby tonight. Um No, but those things respawn like the Dickens. Oops, I forgot to break this open. There's some place where you can break this open with the blues, I think. Whatever. As are there eggs anywhere? I would really like eggs right now, please. I'm fine with a force of 49 if I have to deal with it, but I would like a force of 49 flowers. Of course, I'm just going to go back to breeding. Hooray. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. That's pretty much how I beat the Scarab in Halo Wars. did the same thing, and for people who do not know what Halo Wars are, basically a giant laser robot that did the same thing as that, except it used a giant laser instead of, um, fire. Whoops. Oh, they both survived? Okay. There we go. So much for you. What advantage does it get from planting Pikmin? It seems as if these were just not natural creatures, but things designed to annoy, um, some kind of person trying to use Pikmin. What evolutionary purpose does it have to annoy Pikmin? That just doesn't seem very practical to me, I'm sorry. Let's break this, even though I don't really plan on harvesting any berries today, and, uh, most likely I'm gonna pause it 
clear up these videos or name these videos and get them done with so I can put them together later and then come back immediately but there is a tiny off chance I might be able to breed a little bit off screen so cross your fingers I'll see you in the next part